Robbie, you said before the game it would take a hard work to get the three points today and the lads put that in that hard work and achieve three points. Definitely, Tramir are a very strong, competitive team. Um, we know their strengths and you know defensively they're very good. Only conceded two goals prior to this game today in the league. Um, so it was always going to be difficult, but I thought the players' persistence in the way we want to play um, and their attitude to keep going, even though they could have got frustrated at times, was, was really good. So um, it's a really big win for us. I think Tranmere will be up there challenging at the top end of, of the, the league and the table. Um, so it's really pleasing to get the three points. Did you feel that we probably deserved to be ahead at the break, given the balance of play? I think, I think, we'd have, I think we deserve to win. Um, now, Mickey is again a guy I've got so much respect for. Um, he'll point to the fact that they've missed a glorious chance at the end there to, to equalise, and quite, you know, I, I agree that it, probably on the balance of it, he, he should score the player. Um, but I thought, I thought we earned that look. Um, I thought that the, the eight minutes through us a little bit when the board goes up, and obviously they're going to throw more players forward. Um, but we're, we've got some young centre backs and a back four, that, or back five, sorry, that's relatively young. We've got a young midfielder, we've got two young number 10s in those positions. So it's learning for them as well. So when that ball goes up, just keep doing the same thing clear heads, clear minds. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really pleasing victory against a strong team. What pleased you most about the performance today? The resilience, I think. The resilience to keep going you know it would have been easy to to get frustrated with ourselves with the, the opportunities we were creating i think we had 16 shots only three on target but that needs to improve um but yeah again the, the substitutes come on and and lift us again and that's nothing to say about the boys at the start because they did really well as well so it's it's nice to have those options off the bench um nobody wants to start the game as a substitute everybody wants to play but what we're trying to do here is use everybody as the best we can and um, on the back of six uh, games undefeated we've sort of got a little bit of momentum going which can only be a good thing. One of those substitutes, Danny Cashman, came on last week, set up the winner, scores the winner today. Is it getting more and more difficult not to start him? Of course, and that's what we ask of every player um, and Danny's a talented, talented player but you've got to remember it's his first experience of senior football as well so uh, we know what strengths Danny's got, we know that he uh, he can be a bit different to the other players that we brought in, but I thought Conor Grant came on and did well, you know, he set a couple of chances up and, you know, this, this is, you, Greg, you're going to get sick of me saying it, everybody's important, everybody plays a part, I'm looking at the senior players that don't play today, Jim McNulty's around everybody, Matty Dorn, Aidan White, Jay Link, they're, they're all playing a part and as that continues we can only get stronger. And everybody's obviously been involved in this run now. It's five wins in six games, six games undefeated. As you've just said, how pleased are you with the momentum that we've got? Okay. Yeah, of course. At any level, that's that's strong form, isn't it? The, um, I've just spoke to the players there. Enjoy it because you've got to enjoy the wins. Um, but the next challenge is to to extend it. You know, that's it. It's, we'll enjoy it for tonight. Um, but then, come Monday, we, we we go again, and we, we look forward to the next game. You've already mentioned sort of the, the back five and. But how important is it having sort of a solid base, not conceding many goals, and then you get that opportunity and it only takes one goal to win a game if you keep a clean sheet? Clean sheets are our starting point. You know, for all, everybody wants to see attacking football, and we've scored a lot of goals compared to other teams in all four divisions. Somebody told me we're fourth highest, and that's fantastic, and it's great for the supporters to see that. My point of view as a manager is keep a clean sheet, because if we keep that, one goal's enough. Um, so I thought we deserved the clean sheet today, although I do admit we, we rode our look at that chance at the end. It's very early days, but up into the top seven as well in the league table, you know, it's just a, shows what a good start back to the season. Yeah, and you know, I always remember back to a couple of games in and everybody's saying, you know, what's this squad going to do? And when basically we've done nothing, we've, we've, we've got to where we probably deserve to be. Uh, the next challenge is to kick on, and that's the challenge to, to, to all the players and the staff Let's not get complacent, that, that, that hurts us, complacency. I don't see any reason for that. Um, and then we go into a week where we can prepare properly for, for the next game. What do you make of League 2 so far, the makeup of the division? Um, it's, I think, well, every game's a, a real challenge. You know, there's different styles we play against. Um, there's the, the haves and have nots in the league, so that's all interesting. I would say every game is a challenge, really, really is. Um, you look at Tranmere today, they're, they're so strong, they've got some experienced players that, that can help them. Um, 
So yeah, I think if I think back to every game, I might be mistaken. There's only been one goal maybe in it, whether we've won, lost or draw. Well, obviously if we draw, it's, it's equal, isn't it? Um, so it's a competitive league. Um, the more we work with the players, the more they get used to us, how we want to do things and the fitter they get, um, hopefully we get stronger with that as well. Has there anything surprised you at all in the, in the first few weeks in the job? Pleasantly or otherwise? I don't think so. I think, um, you know, every team's got strengths and weaknesses. It's obviously a very physical division as well. Um, and physical in both terms of strength and stature of players, but the, the, the relentless amount of games that you have to play. And obviously with that, we've got through to the next round of the Cup, so that's something we have to consider. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I, I did my homework before I came here. Um, I knew what this league was about. I knew what Rochdale were last year. Um, so in terms of surprises, I wouldn't say surprise, it's just more enhances what I knew. Um, and again, you know, we've, we're trying to get an identity in our play. It's not quite there yet, but hopefully it will get there. So sooner or later.